Mainstream historians will tell you that the Pyramid of Giza was a glorified tomb for the pharaohs, the only monument left of the original seven wonders of the world. This structure was created with impeccable mathematical precision. It is a unique, mysterious piece of construction. There is in fact just one problem. The Great Pyramid has none of the characteristics of a tomb. There are no extravagant artifacts, wall art, sealed entrances or coffins or even mummies themselves. It was, however, built with unique materials, the same materials that are used today for electrical conductivity, leading more and more historians to believe that the Pyramid of Giza was not a tomb, but a power plant. Hey you guys! Before we start, don't forget to check the voting link in the description box. So I've already started off by applying my nail form and I'm coming in and sculpting this extravagant extreme nail shape, sometimes known as the razor. I've come in with two of the Easy Flow acrylic powders and I've ombre them down the nail, making sure to take care and apply only thin layers so we can come in and apply our glitter and cap in clear. It's always important to cap any glitters or design powders in clear to add structure and strength to the nails and also protect your designs. I'm then coming in with some gel paints and a detail brush and painting the Eye of Horus. This is an Egyptian symbol to symbolise protection, royal power and good health. Next I'm moving on to the pinky nail and I'm doing an extreme stiletto shape with some gold glitter acrylic and the clear acrylic from Easy Flow. Then detailing hieroglyphics in with gel paint and top coating for a high gloss shine. I sourced a template off the internet for a pyramid shape and then I've come in with a plastic baggie and sculpted my sides of the top, constructed my pyramids and now I'm coming in with some gold gel paint and I've um, completely covered the pyramids and then I'm coming in with a black detail brush. I had to include one of the Egyptian famous symbols which is the Ankh, I think is how you pronounce it and this is a symbol of life or life itself. And of course I had to include a pharaoh in all his glory covered in gold. I did this by sculpting the base in clear acrylic and then I came in with gold gel paint and also some detailing paints and added the fine details there. Just remember to flash cure between each gel paint process when you are happy with the position. So for this nail I have done an all acrylic design with an extended nail bed. We are adding some detail in gold and black and then I'm coming in and painting the Egyptian symbol also with black gel paints and a fine detailing brush making sure to cure in between like each detail that you're happy with to ensure that your product isn't going to spread and kind of warp out of position. Next I'm coming in to create my giant piece, my pyramid that lights up with the electrical force and energy created by the pyramid itself of course. And I just came in, sculpted that with clear acrylic, applied a base coat and this just allowed me to have a nice smooth surface to apply my white lines and gel paint to. It just made everything flow a lot easier. So as you saw I measured out my knuckles because this is going to be a knuckle piece that kind of sits over the fingers as a backdrop to the nails. I've sculpted that out, refined it and then I'm coming in and just creating the scene that you can see here that I found for my inspiration piece. Everything there was done with acrylic and when you're kind of blending acrylics like that you just want to make sure you use them really wet and build and layer them up. Next I used that same image just to kind of get a template for my Sphinx, the Great um, Pyramid of Giza has a giant Sphinx statue outside of it so I really wanted to incorporate that into the design. I've sculpted it out of acrylic and I'm coming in with some gel detailing paints and a fine brush just to add those details. I'm applying it to my knuckle piece, I used acrylic to do that, blended it in and did the same detailing with the gel for the stars and also that lower piece of the Egyptian desert as well. Next I'm coming in and I'm creating a scarab beetle because these are so well known in the Egyptian kind of culture. So I'm sculpting that out of acrylic, I lay my base layer down first and then I come and sculpt the individual pieces of armour as such. On the beetle I also do the legs and then we just add some black gel paint, some no wipe top coat and pigment just to create that real scarab rich kind of vibe. Add the gold detailing just to really make that design pop. Since we weren't allowed to use any extra embellishments I decided to create my own little crystals and I really wanted to tie the colour theme in for the beetle as well. So as you can see I used the purple acrylic, applied the top coat on the pigment again and outlined in gold gel. 
they turned out super super stunning I absolutely loved them for the rhombus shape one I pulled the top coat over the top and cured in position to really give it some extra dimension for this nail I've top coated coated with a layer of pigment and I'm just going to apply top coat everywhere that I want the pigment to stick now this is a super easy design that you can use all the time in the salon I absolutely love using it once you're happy with where you want the pigment to be and the design you've created in top coat come ahead wipe away the excess pigment and you're left with a beautiful design moving on to the pinky nail with the hieroglyphics I just added some of my embellishments that I created and this is my final result I really hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to vote for me thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next round bye and always remember guys that you are bomb.com